Hey guys, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. On this channel, we like to share lots of fun lunch ideas, but recently I've had a lot of requests to show some allergy-friendly lunches. And in today's video, we're focusing on gluten-free lunches. And I'm gonna share with you six of our favorites. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and click the notification bell as well. That way you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Let's get on to those gluten-free lunches. I'm kicking things off with lunch idea number one. Right now I've got Jackson and Lily here helping me. Say hi guys. Hi guys. So today we're actually having lunch at home and I just finished up making it. Let me show you what we made. We do have something new today that we're trying. These are the broccoli and cheese nuggets. So they look like chicken nuggets, but they're actually broccoli and cheese, and they're also gluten-free. So I found these at Walmart, I believe, and I've also seen them at Target. So we'll see if the kids like them or not. Now also to go along with that today, I'm also giving them lots of sugar snap peas. And in this little container, I put some of the um, hummus that we got from Costco. This is the Simply Roasted Pine Nut Hummus. It's really good. And so the kids can dip their little sugar snap peas in there. I think they'll really like that. And then I have the teeny tiniest, cutest little apple, one for each child. It's really small and petite, so I think they can handle it without me cutting it. And then over in this corner, I have just a sliver of avocado. Now the kids used to eat avocado like this all the time, just plain. Well, there's a little bit of salt and pepper on there. So we'll see if they still like it. I'm not quite sure if they will, but I'm trying to use up the avocados before they go bad. And then lastly, I'm also giving them a little yogurt tube just to fill it in, just in case they are not big fans of these, but we shall see. Does it look good, Lily? Yeah! Next up is lunch idea number two. Hi guys, welcome to Thursday. Very good, right now I've got Mackenzie and Jackson here. I wanted to call him Griffin there for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson. Good morning. So I just finished packing the lunch. What do you guys think? It looks great. Uh -huh. It looks like a lot of stuff. I hope you guys are going to be hungry today. So we actually went with something new today. I tried to make a lunch that was both wheat-free, nut-free, dairy-free. And we're all from Trader Joe's. Uh, almost all from Trader Joe's. <laughs> In this little container, I have a cutie orange for the kids. I have some sugar snap peas. And then over here, I have some cookies. Now, like Mackenzie says, these are from Trader Joe's. These are the soft bake snickerdoodles. And they're wheat-free, milk-free, peanut-free, egg-free, and soy-free. They're actually really good. They taste like a really uh, mild gingerbread cookie, but like, they, like it says, they are soft. Then over in this corner, I have some corn chip dippers. These are also from Trader Joe's and these are so good. These are very much like the Fritos version. Um, so you can scoop whatever you wanna scoop with them. And so what I did for the kids, I went ahead and put some vegetarian chili in their thermoses. This is also from Trader Joe's. There's no meat in here, no dairy. It's actually really good. I've had it before, but the kids haven't had it. So I hope they like it. Over in this corner, I have a little fruit pouch. This is the apple strawberry flavor. And then I am giving the kids some juice today. This is the organic fruit punch from Costco. Plus, this is from Trader Joe's too. That is from Trader Joe's. You can tell I shop at Trader Joe's and Costco quite a lot. Oh yes, I am remembering to put a little spoon fork in there today. So they can scoop. Knives. Yeah, so they can scoop out their chili. It might be a little hard for them to dip in the thermos, but that's okay. It'll still be good. Next is lunch number three. You guys ever do that? Call your kids by the wrong name? I do it way too often. But anyway, so on Thursdays, I'm gonna try to make uh, more allergy-friendly lunches. I've had a lot of requests to show that because I know a lot of moms out there and kids out there have this issue. So today's lunch is actually all gluten-free. It's also vegetarian. But this one is not dairy-free because I'm actually using some store-prepared lentils and there is actually some milk in there. So if you want this to be dairy-free as well, maybe just make your own lentils. So for today's lunch, I started by filling up the thermoses with some wild brown rice. I just heated it up and got it right in there and then I topped it with the lentils. We get these from Costco. They are really good and they're so easy and fast. And like I said, they're vegetarian and gluten-free. Now to go along with that today, I have a lot of fruits and veggies. 
starting with some cucumbers back over in this corner and I made them really fun by using my flower cookie cutter and I also added this cute little pig just for fun. Over here I have just a few blueberries. I just had a few left and I wanted to use them up. And then I also gave the kids this pouch of apple mango um, sauce. So it's gluten free, it's vegan, it's just apples and mangoes, really good. Those are really good. Yeah, we love those. And then I'm also sending them with one treat today. These are the fruit wraps from Trader Joe's. It's kind of like a fruit snack, kind of like a fruit leather, but it's just strawberries and apples, so it's not too bad. Does that look like enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to lunch idea number four. So do you want to tell our friends what these guys are? Yeah. Those are veggie bites. Now, if you've never heard of veggie bites, I actually get these at Costco and they're really good. They're my favorite. So I actually like to cook these in my air fryer. You can also put them in the microwave if you'd like. And they don't actually have to be served warm. I was gonna go ahead and put them in my thermoses, but then I changed my mind. These veggie bites are made of carrots, sweet potatoes, kale, celery, and tomatoes, and corn. They're really very good. And while they were cooking, I went ahead and made a condiment to go with them. I made something called fry sauce. Now, fry sauce is definitely a popular condiment found in Utah. And even though we're in California, we love it too. So basically, it's just even parts mayo, and ketchup, and then I put a little bit of pickle juice, just about a teaspoon or so, and then I mix it up. So it's kind of like a Thousand Island type dressing, but it's not chunky at all. Now like I said, these are just fine at room temperature, and I am including this teeny tiny cute little fork for the kids to use. Now for the protein today, I am serving some ham. This is just rolled up deli hams. This is really good from Costco. And they put it on a little pick just so it would be fun and it would keep it together inside the lunch box. For our fruit today, I have some watermelon. Do you like watermelon, Kenzie? Yeah. I got three big chunks of watermelon in there. And I have the same for Jackson and the same for Lily, but I did give her a little bit less because she usually just, she eats less. Now I am including a treat today. Miss Lily has wanted these for days. These are actually chocolate chip animal cookies. Look just like that. So I know she's gonna look forward to those. So pretty simple, but fun today. So now I just have to get all of my lids on. I do wanna put an ice pack in here today because of the meat and the fruit. And then we will head out the door. Next up, lunch number five. So on Thursdays, I try to make a allergy friendly lunch, which is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. So if you guys have some favorite ideas for allergy free lunches, leave them in the comments down below and I'll definitely try making those. But here's what I made for today's lunch. I started by cooking up some brown rice in my instant pot. It was super fast. And then I got that into the thermoses. And then on top, I'm giving the kids some of this chana masala. I think that's how you say it. And this is vegan, gluten free and non-GMO. And it's actually mild in spice. It's made with chickpeas, there's onions, tomatoes, and spices in there. Now, I'm not sure if the kids are gonna like that, but they did like the lentils last time, and they're, they're not exactly the same, obviously, but they're similar, so I'm hoping they'll like this one today. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids some yummy sesame crackers. These are actually made of rice, so they're gluten-free, and they're actually really yummy and crispy. Over in this corner today, I'm giving the kids some cucumbers. Do you like cucumbers? Yeah! But instead of doing the normal um, round pieces that I do, I went ahead and made the sticks instead. So it's a little bit different. And then over here, I have some of these bobo bites. <laughs> these look really interesting. Now these are vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, but this particular flavor does have nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, just get a different flavor. So. These are kind of like an Aussie bite, if you've ever had one of those. It's like a little biscuit muffin thing. What about the applesauce, Mom? Oh, yes. Now, I am out of fresh fruit today. I need to make it to the store. So instead, I'm gonna give the kids this applesauce pouch. But who was it, Jackson? Did you pick this out? Yeah. This is the apple mango one. So that one's really tasty. So I definitely need to give the kids some spoons today. Do you think you're gonna like it? Yeah! I want you to eat it all. Eat as much as you can, okay? Okay. I hope you like it. Finally, lunch idea number six. I know what you're probably thinking. Where's the sandwich? I know normally on Monday I do PB&J sandwiches, but I wanted to try something different. This is peanut butter yogurt. And we haven't tried this flavor before, but these are the flip ones. 
So they have little peanuts inside, mm -hmm. and then you put them in the vanilla yogurt. Right, so there's peanuts on this side, so you kind of flip it over, and all the crunchies go on top. It's vanilla Greek yogurt with peanut butter clusters. What do you think about peanut butter yogurt, Jackson? I don't know if it's gonna be good, but uh, maybe. Maybe, well, I hope you try it. I am including this cute little spoon for your yogurt. And then back over here I have some watermelon, but unfortunately this watermelon from Costco is pretty pink, isn't it? Yeah. Usually watermelon is red, so hopefully you guys will still like it. I could smell it while you were making it. It does smell good, but it may not be very sweet. You guys will have to try it. Over here I'm giving the kids some shredded carrots. It's just more fun to eat it when it's little pieces, right? Yeah. And then over here I have something that is so yummy. This is the Boom Chicka Pop in the white cheddar flavor. It is so good, I can't stop snacking on it. But it's actually not too bad for you. And then lastly, I'm also giving the kids some fruit leathers. These are the ones from Trader Joe's, and these are apple blueberries. So it's like a, a fruit snack. Does it look good? Yeah! Let us know in the comments down below if you or if anyone in your family is on a gluten-free diet. Also, stay tuned for more specialty lunches. We're working on dairy-free lunches, vegan lunches, and keto lunches as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.